Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Today, I am delighted to be here with one of my friends, Shannon O'Hara. And uh, now she's also in Australia. How did I get so lucky to have her close to me? Uh, hi, Shannon. Hello, hello, Franny. Hello, everybody out there in Facebook, YouTube land. I wish yeah. we could all be together, but we'll be online instead. <laughs> This is so good, this new technology, right? When I was a kid, there was like writing a letter to a friend. Now right. there is this instant communication that sometimes could be a little bit overwhelming, but I'm very grateful about it. Anyway, um, to follow on why or the reason why we are here today. So I really desire to talk with you about the gift of the body processes. I mean, you are uh, Gary Douglas the founder of Access Consciousness daughter. Plus you are an amazing uh, three day body class facilitator and more and more and more. So yeah, what would you like to talk about when I say the gift of the body processes? Yeah, so if you're watching this, you probably know about Access because we're streaming this to Access Facebook and Access YouTube. So probably you're in the know about Access to some degree and if, you don't know much about access, I'll give a little rundown. It's this massive toolbox of tools that you can use for literally every single area of life. And so today, Francesca and I are targeting the body work, which is this its whole own incredible thing. And one of the really magnificent things that I discovered through using the body processes, so there are, uh, many body processes and they come in a class actually there's two full classes the three-day body class and the advanced both of which are literally have their own manuals full of body processes and something that i never expected to gain through the body work was more of me it sort of never occurred to me that i could have more of me more of my life more consciousness more ease more joy by having greater access to my body I had spent a lot of my, you know, teens and adult life really hating my body and trying to get away from my body and abusing it with food and totally dishonoring it. And then running the body processes was this sort of like, I just tried it. I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't really, it was like part of access. And I really was getting so much change from using access that I, you know, I tried the body processes too. And then I would like get up off the table and it was like the whole world was this lighter, brighter, happier place it, in a way that I never could have expected. So the level of like peace that I've gotten with my body, I had no reference point for beforehand at all. People That's are so really, excited to have us, yeah. to have you here today. Oh, but it's beautiful. amazing. Because, yeah. I can't see the chat. I'm actually just looking at our little window. So if I, I don't know where to go to, should I go somewhere to see the chat or is it okay? Maybe comments on chat. your left should be, should be on your right comments. Yeah, no, I don't see anything yet, but I'm okay. glad if there is anything, here. It's very happy. And if there is any question, I will let you know. Okay. Yeah. Specifically. Awesome. Cool. awesome. Good. Yeah. So it's like, this is, it's, it's who thought that, having your body more would lead to greater consciousness. You know, we're taught in, I mean, we're basically taught in all religions that the body is a source of sin or the thing that's limiting you. And when you die, when you get rid of your body, then you'll be free, then you'll be liberated, then you'll be in heaven. Actually the opposite of what's true. Heaven is in a body. If any of you guys have ever eaten ice cream or walked on the beach or, you know, had sex, you felt heaven. That's heaven. This is heaven in a body on earth. And this planet is a playground for us. It's like we can live in heaven or we can live in hell. And using the access body processes unlocks your body from all the judgment, all the control, all the limitations, and gives you access to, frankly, this whole world of possibility that most people don't even realize exists until they step into it. Yeah. So it's that's true. Yes. So it's hard to talk to people like it's hard to tell people like when they're like, well, what are the body, what am I going to get from a body process class? Or like, what am I going to like, what can I expect? It's so hard to talk about it. Cause like if, for example, imagine, imagine that you had never eaten an orange and you're asking somebody like, so like, what is eating an orange? Like you best, you could say it was like, it's sort of wet. 
<laughs> you know, so the body processes are like relaxing, you know. Could be sweet or be. Yeah, it's like sweet. It's sort of wet. It's sort of sweet. It's a little sour. Those are the best describers. But when you eat an orange, it gives you so much more information. Now you know what an orange is. So when you run the body processes, it's like you can say it's, it's relaxing. It's like nurturing. It's, but when you do the body process, that's when you're like, oh, this is what this is. And in, yeah. until you experience it, you really can't, there isn't a reference point for it. There is no, I mean, it's funny because you say like how much you have been destroying your body before judging it, you know? And then I'm yeah. like, you were not very into the body process, even if we're being the, the daughters of Gary Douglas, you have been saying, coming everything along since the beginning. So, yeah. right, like the building, so it's been probably very much different than anyone else. I would say, yeah, yeah, because you're True. dead receive information that, right, like about body process through his body or other people's body to, because one of the other things I was always, you know, in other modalities there is this fact that you pull the energy from the outside and put it on the body to heal it, mm. but our bodies have already all this energy. We right. just wake them up with the body process. That's what I sometimes I like to look at. We wake them up, the capacity that our bodies have there, they're a bit of in silence. So what do you get yeah, about that? Exactly. So and that's that's um that's a huge thing is that yeah, a lot of modalities are about bringing the energy from the outside. And even modern medicine is about utilizing a medication or a process from the outside to adjust something in the body. And essentially, the body is already completely has everything it needs to be free, to be happy, and to be healthy, literally. So the body processes facilitate accessing the elements or the consciousness and dissipating the unconsciousness or the anti-consciousness that might be locked, that's, that's creating the difficulties you have with your body. So in Access, we talk about that in order to have a difficulty in any area of your life, there's something that you're unwilling to perceive to know, to be, or to receive. So literally every single issue or problem in any, in every area of your life boils down to the unwillingness to perceive, know, be, and receive something. So when you apply that to the body, let's say you have cervical cancer or you have uh, cirrhosis, or I mean, on the millions of incredible things that the body can display and demonstrate all of those things, it's like, is your body wrong or is your body giving you information about an, about something that you're unwilling to be aware of? So that's a lot of the premise of the body work with access is that the body's aware, the body's intelligent, the body's conscious, the body's not sick, the body's giving you information. Now, what is your body giving you information about? Is it giving you information about your spouse? Is it giving you information about, you know, that you might be duplicating one or more of your parents? Is your body giving you information that you ate too much way too many times? Is your body giving you information that the, about the earth and what's going on with the planet? So the body is a sensorial organism. It's designed to perceive, to receive, to sense, and to communicate based on the world around it. If you do not like receiving with your body, if, you've, if your body's been made wrong, if your body's been abused, if the body has been shut down in all the ways we shut bodies down, then the information doesn't become a building block for greater awareness. The information twists into sicknesses, symptoms, and problems. And just based on that premise, it's so revolutionary. Your body's not a problem. Your body actually is aware. And do you want to have an aware body or do you want to have a wrong body? Well, wow. I will say I want to have an aware body. It's funny how you were talking and people say, wow, spot on for my lower back pain. Thank you. And I'm also, I like, see people that actually have been using right. the access consciousness tool since a long time. But it seems that we get on, that we forget to ask questions about our bodies. We get right away mm -hmm. in the, in the, um, in the conclusion what that will be right mm. or oh wow i eat too much or you know i didn't sleep so much or blah 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 so it's also later the other day i actually had this huge back pain and then brought me 
um, a big headache. And at one point, I'm like, you know what? I need to lie down. Today, well, that, what my body requires, I didn't have any answer. I knew my posture sometimes is not the best. That doesn't help. But I knew there was something different. So I actually really like to lie down and I slept for four hours in the afternoon. I forced myself in a way to rest. Yeah. And then the day after, I got so many more information about people around me in other parts of the world, that things were changing too. So how much there is changing occurring that you are related to, that your body is perceiving. Like there is all of the, and I know this might seem since the first time you hear about it a little bit out of line, but what if it's not? Because our, it's funny how um, us as human being, even if we human quote unquote animal, you know, we know what is right for us right away. Our body will tell us exactly that we don't listen to it. That's what was one of the greatest gifts for me since I started body processes with access consciousness and using the tools to have that level of freedom in the choice, choices that I can make, including my yeah. body. It was like, yeah. Including your body. And that's what's so huge. Because even laying down for a nap can sometimes seem like you, there's a million reasons why you shouldn't and couldn't. But if you listen to your body, your body's like, I need to lay down. Do you listen to your body? As Francesca was describing, I had another circumstance. Someone put in the message about the back pain stuff. Like when we talk about that, the body's aware, like it's big. Like I'm, I'm just throwing this like casually into the conversation, but it's massive. Like revol it revolutionizes the way that your life works and the whole way that you live. Basically, I had, um, you know, yesterday Max brought home some dinner and I ate something that my body didn't want. Like it just didn't want it, and I knew it, but I like didn't make the choice at the time, and I ate it. And boy, did I pay the price! I was having indigestion for like the rest of the night, and I. I was like, oh my God, body, I'm so sorry. And like, I finally was like, yes, I get it. You didn't want that. I ate it, you know, and my body was like, please listen to me. And no matter what I was doing, I was drinking mint tea. I was like drinking plenty of water. I was like breathing deeply and it like would not shift. It was so uncomfortable. Finally, I was like, okay, what needs to happen here? And my body actually gave me, it said like, I need this body process. And I just asked my husband to like lay his hand on my stomach for, he did it for five minutes, got up, pain completely gone. My body had was able to then process through whatever it needed to process and move it really quickly. So these body processes, even when applied for even five minutes, can just make life more comfortable. Yeah, really. Because that's the thing. We It becomes... Like, since bodies are, as your dad say, like um, organisms that like since sensor organism that gives you information, more we trust them, more we listen yeah. to them, faster they become. Like that's the amazingness. It's true, like yeah. the change is instantaneous. They say, wow, you didn't take any pills, Shannon. What happened? <laughs> you, like, you know, no, it was like, boom. The, the willingness to listen and to change it, yeah. And that's the thing, the body has the ability to change things, to heal things, to transfer. I, healing is a bit of a trigger word, but I will say the body, the your body is capable. And so how many of you guys have put like the faith in your body in the hands of somebody else, looked to others to tell you what was going on with your body, you know, looked to the right doctor or the right exercise program or the right diet and how much of that has worked. What if you listened to your body, asked your body, and what if your body was a source of information for you? And you could receive information from the doctor, you could receive information from others about what's, you know, receive information, but not make what other people say is real and true for their body, what has to be real and true for you body. Because the other really true thing is that everybody has a completely unique body. There is no one way to deal with every single body. So you really have to have your unique body. And that's why a lot of times why medicines or diets or exercise programs don't work the same for everybody because every body is different. Mm -mm. It's true. It's funny. Everybody's different. 
and we know that but sometimes you like to don't think about it with the body I'm like no well that's that. actually oh, well. well that's like that's really interesting that thing about like you don't want to have to really think about it that's true it's this interesting phenomenon how when you give some like so for example if you've ever been to an access body class or you do go to an access body class usually your facilitator will talk about listen to your body you know <laughs> listen to your body listen to your body listen to your body ask your body listen to your body and what's uh, re- the thing that I've run into and I've seen in so many other people is like this immediate response of like, that's a lot of work. That that seems like a lot of effort to have to ask my body for every single thing, like to literally ask you. And what occurred for me yesterday was I didn't ask my body if it wanted to eat what my husband brought home. I just ate it. And then I paid the price for not listening to my body. How many of you guys have paid the price dearly for not listening to your body with indigestion, with back pain, with migraines? It, Etc. 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 We all know it. We all know we've done it. We all know we've done it. Now, what if we told you there was a way to easily change that, but it would require you to always be in the question? Would you be willing to make that effort? And that's a huge question. Are you willing to make the effort, or do you want to go on automatic pilot with the body, as though autopilot is somehow greater or easier, and is it easier, or does it lead you into indigestion constantly, <laughs> in back pain constantly? You know, you, yeah, it works well for a couple of days and then you crash. You know what I mean? It's it, just like, yeah. <laughs> so this is a very different conversation and something that's like one of the um, the things that I'm really. But something that really inspires me is greater and greater consciousness. And I think that's a little bit of a tough sell. Like sometimes people think that consciousness is like then going to magically give them everything they want the way they want it. Like you'll have the perfect body without having to with no effort. That's not really how consciousness works. Consciousness requires you to be conscious. Do you want to be conscious around your body? Whose unconsciousness around bodies are you functioning from or in reaction to or buying is real and true for you? Yeah. And everything that is, we destroy it and create it. Yes. Right, rug of battle, line, pud pack shirts, boys and beyonds. I want to so ask, yeah, go ahead. No, no please. There is a question. There is a question here about, and Someone, when you were talking about back, back pain, it's like, when back, back pain show up, tell us what energy to transform. But it's almost like, yeah. Well, I, the back stuff is an interesting one because we basically, essentially, when you have stuff in your back, like when you have back pain, um, you always want to ask first, what are you holding and hiding behind you? Without making significant, sorry, can I add yeah. this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And so we just did a big class in November with Dr. Dane here. And I was, it was a five day class, I believe. The Maestro was five days. And the yes. first three days of the class, I was almost crippled with back pain. I like literally could barely stand up straight. It was excruciating. And I knew it had to do with the class. And I was using all my tools and all my questions and it was not changing. So finally, I, you know, get on the microphone and I'm like, I got this back thing going on. I need some help, you know. And what we basically got to was, you know, he asked me, he's like, What power and potency are you holding and hiding behind you so dynamically that if you didn't, so it's like, what are you holding and hiding behind you so dynamically? And that's, you know, I don't know if that's like too much for like a free Facebook live, but really with, with, I do all the, sorry, I don't know if I'm breaking up or are you, was it me or you? I don't know what happened there. But it was me. I didn't hear. It was me. Yeah. Oh, what are you holding so it's, dynamically behind you? So with back stuff, it's always what are you hiding behind you, period. Like you have to start there. And if you don't become aware of what you're holding and hiding behind you, it'll like the pain will never go away because you're always holding it and hiding it behind you. So this is why it's about consciousness, not the right answer. You have to become aware of what you're not unwilling to be aware of, what you're unwilling to be aware of. The body is always giving you information about stuff you're unwilling to be aware of take it or leave it, love it or hate it. That's what it's doing, you know? And it's like, the more you're willing to have awareness, the easier it is on your body. The less you're willing to have awareness, the harder it is on your body. Yeah. When you become aware and you receive that awareness and you're willing to receive the awareness for the change, it seems that the body's like, relax. Because for me, it seems that the body are screaming at us. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? And more we don't acknowledge, 
louder it becomes or like more pain comes up. So it's exactly. all of that. One exactly. of the things you were mentioned just before this question, the fact becoming conscious with your, with your body, right? And you mentioned it several times. And I know I could I know some people have still this confusion, still pretense right. or the significance of what does that mean? But I hear you, yeah, because you have a nice way of on not explaining it, but to yeah, yeah, to give it to people in a different way. So what when I, when I talk about consciousness, the the one of the ways in which Gary defines consciousness, it like is so liberating for me. He says consciousness includes everything and judges nothing. So if you take that definition of consciousness and apply it to your body, it's like, do you include everything about your body? Or do you exclude your body? Do you exclude your body's pleasure? Do you exclude, are there, so it's like, do you judge anything about, let me put this in a different way. Do you judge anything about your body? Judgments are an exclusion of stuff. So when you're judging, you're not including, you're excluding, you're separating from. That's the antithesis of consciousness. Mm -hmm. So when you judge your body, are you including your body or are you excluding your body or trying to get rid of certain aspects of your body? So as soon as you judge your body, you're no longer conscious with your body. And it's that simple, but it's also that powerful and profound because OMG, how fucking prevalent is judgment of the body? Like, you know, and, and then when I say this, Ooh. I don't want you to use it as another reason and justification to judge yourself more. Oh my God, I'm being so judgmental. I'm so judgmental. Exactly. You know, it's like, it's so, it's, it's more like, oh yeah, I'm being judgmental. Okay, so if I didn't judge my body and wow, my gosh, how much more free would you guys be if you didn't have to judge your bodies? And that's a choice. And that's a choice. Yeah, that's true. I love you. Because so, how many times like you got in your awareness, oh my God, I'm judging that even more. No, 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 and no. And then you're stop. even more wrong for judging, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, please. And as well, like there was someone commenting that I'm afraid about awareness is about it. And I know there might be people cool. here that have been just knowing access consciousness tools. So yeah. they might not have so, all the tools, yeah. But Yeah, cool. So when you're afraid, so when that thing of fear comes up, what you always want to ask yourself is, am I afraid or am I excited? Is this conversation making your body excited? And it's so easy to misidentify excitement as fear. It's one of the easiest misidentifications. And so just so that you can, you know, tuck this information away in your knowledge bank. It's like, when you do the fear thing, you need to question yourself, wait, am I afraid or am I excited right now? Because potentially you're getting excited by this. It's, this isn't fear, this is excitement. True, there's a change, right? There are lots of questions based on different uh, body pains and stuff, but one of the things I would like to ask you regarding all the things, right? Because when we ask for change, and the other day I was doing a video, I was like, yeah, because people, when we ask for change, there is always this, we know we have, we, there is something that we have to change, but we don't know how, we don't know what. Mm. But at the same time, we are so hauled into the problems with our bodies too, because it's, it's like in a way we recognize each other with the problems, you know, let's blame the body because my life is no good, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, all of these things that when you actually are demanding to yourself to be more aware as you just talk and more conscious and using the access consciousness for the body process, this can unravel, you know, because we could talk forever about every body pains that people have in this Facebook life, but what else? Like, you know. Um, well, right, that's exactly right. So like when it's like this, the I would, I'm gonna share with you guys the body pain tool that my dad gave me that's actually been like, I would say revolutionary. It's my go-to that's really set me free like every time. And it's when something comes up with your body, whether it's whatever kind of pain it is, right? Cause there's like so many different kinds of pain. You have to ask, body, what are you telling me? What are you telling me? What are you telling me? For example, it's like when I had the indigestion, my body was clearly telling me like, look, I didn't want to eat that. That's an obvious one. I think most people can relate to that. But like with the example that Francesca gave where the other day she had to lay down and take a four hour nap in the middle of the work day, which is very unusual for her. It's like, and, and if she asked body, what are you telling me? Her body probably was telling her like, look, I'm processing a ton of shit. I need you to lay down. I need to go to sleep, you know, or, you know, your body, body, what are you telling me? I have, I woke up this morning. We had 
there's a holiday rental next door and there's what they had a huge party last night and i mean you know like when it was really drinking loud <laughs> alcoholic parties and i was like fun so i woke up this morning with my neighbor's hangover and i woke up and i could feel it immediately and i was like body not your problem and i had to kind of work through it but if you don't if i didn't ask body like what are you telling me and basically my body was telling me like the people next door drink way too much like way too much it's giving me information about people's bodies in the house next door. That's how intelligent and incredible bodies are. And when you start asking, body, what are you telling me? You start creating a place where your body can work with you rather than you always working against your body and projecting other people's problems onto your body. Like my neighbor's hangover is definitely not my body's problem. But if I didn't ask the question, I would buy it as my body's problem. So when you have these pains, you guys, you've got to up your game. You've got to get in the question. Body, what are you telling me? Are you, will you listen? Or will you just make your body wrong? So what if your body's not wrong? What if your body's really strong and it's telling you some cool stuff? Do you want to know that cool stuff? And I love this conversation. Thank you, Shannon, because I'm, I could notice that there are lots of questions about give me the, the right answer for me. And of course, this is, I mean, Shannon is, is doing really an amazing job, but we, there is not about giving the answer of all the, you know, mm. the problems, quote unquote. Well, and, and that's yeah. the thing. There isn't a right answer because you have a unique yeah. body. That's yeah. the thing. We can't give you one. But asking a question, I think, is a pretty cool fucking tool. Like that, you can, each body can apply that. Like a question works for everybody. But the information you get from the question is going to be very unique to you, your body, and the circumstances of where your body is. It's easier than we think. That's the point. When you start using uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's easier. true. <laughs> it's true. Easier and more fun than what we think. Because also, like, it's interesting, you know, when we have problems or when we get, oh, this happened to me. In life, nothing really happened to us. And one of the things that's, that's, that's been the greatest revelation for me since I came across the Access Consciousness tool is that I am the creator of my life, my body, and anything. So if I am the creator of beautiful things and crap, no matter what, consciousness includes everything and judges nothing, I have the power to change it. You know what I mean? So that's actually with our bodies too. That's why it's easier when we think. And I adore your dad, because he's always like, silly trait, ask the question, <laughs> use the tools. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. true. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Use the tools. Use the tools. Use the tools. So you can lead a horse to water. You cannot make them drink. And it's, you know, I was just doing a class this morning where a woman, I had given a woman um, some great tools to use and she hadn't used them and she was continuing to have the problem. So I was like, why aren't you just, you know, so, and that's the thing with these, with these, with these body processes that we started this conversation with, it's a tool that you have to use, but it's like going to the gym. Most people could find a million excuses and reasons why not to, you know, move their body. And that's a choice too. So it's sort of up to you guys. You, we would love to invite you to these possibilities if it's something that your body's asking for. Um, can I tell them about the body class that I'm doing? That's what, yeah, actually, place I also have. Um, Go. So currently we, Francesca and I are in Queensland, Australia, and I am going to be doing a three-day body class in Australia. Yay, Australia. Um, yeah. At the end, towards the end of the month. So I think it's the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Um, and I'm going to be doing yes. it in Noosa. And I invite everybody that's in Australia, because I know if you're not in Australia, you're probably not coming to Australia. But if you are in Australia, please come. Um, enjoy, get to know this stuff. I, it's going to be a incredible three days and just like, just the, even the powerful bits that we got to in this brief 30 minute conversation about the difference between fear versus excitement, about asking your body questions about your body being aware about back pain, et cetera. Like we can really then have the space over those three days to really work through and change a lot of these very deeply fundamentally ingrained belief systems and like sort of like antibody ways that we function and start to really generate a whole new reality of possibility. So it's a great space. You learn the body processes, you use the tools, 
you mostly are actually running body processes the most time, most of the time. But then you also yeah. get the time and space with me to learn the tools and really get a lot more of these of these sort of stuck places unlocked from your universe and from your body. And all the mind chatting when I'm in a body class, it turns down. There is like this level mm -hmm. of peace that there is no longer required to me to think about anything. It's just really like start learning, start being like, start really being communion with my body. That's just been all the body classes I've been. And every time I go to one, yes. Because I've been, I've been in so many in my life. Three day body class, I think I did probably 15, 17, 18, 20, I don't remember. And then so many advanced body classes. And every time is different. Every time you get something new. So thank you, Shannon, for having one here. And I know you're having one in Mexico in the future or others. Yes. And guys, for the one they are, you know, we are so lucky in Australia because we have a level of freedom that not everywhere in the world. But look around. If you're the first time you have been hearing talking about the 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 body processes, go on the Access Consciousness website, look body classes around me and maybe go for a session on the body process or do one day body process, you know, something like if it's something that ping with you, what if you give it a go and see what can create greater for you? There are other people in the chat that ask about, and they just so you can give the information, they ask about entities and other stuff. So where they can find you, Shannon, everyone knows where they can find you, but still, if they want to have more about that yeah. specialty that you are amazing on it, if you're looking for entity stuff, which is definitely not this conversation, it's a very different conversation, the Talk to the Entities website, talktotheentities.com, go there, okay? And I also have then a website for everything else that's not Talk to the Entities, and that's shannon-ohara.com. I see my access profile is also in like the ticker hey, tape there, which exactly. is awesome. Perfect. Yeah. So, and I'm not hard to find. I'm definitely trying to make my, I'm yeah. available to everybody. So I'm do, you know, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me. I am here. I am definitely want to work with you. Please work with us. Yeah. Thank you so much for this conversation. Thank, Thank you, you everyone yes, for being here and have an amazing day. Mwah. See you Bye, soon. Bye everybody. Bye. Ciao. Bye.